Welcome to Arizona Business Spotlight. I'm Helen Gibson. You're watching Verde Valley TV. So good to see you again. I hope you have your pen and paper ready today because we have a lot of information about marketing, media, getting your computer fixed, everything you need for that startup business or your storefront business. Keep it here. I want to thank our sponsors, Orkin. They have pest control under control for you. <laughs> We'll be back with more Arizona Business Spotlight in just a moment. Orkin has pest control down to a science. When your business chooses Orkin's Precision Protection Program, you get a tailored pest control program for your specific industry and environment. Your business can benefit from over a century of experience, training and scientific knowledge that define the Orkin man. Maximum protection, minimum exposure, backed by one of the industry's most comprehensive guarantees. Choose your locally owned and operated Northern Arizona Orkin and get more than an exterminator, get an expert. Welcome back to Arizona Business Spotlight. I'm Helen Gibson and you're watching Verde Valley TV. I'm so excited about today's show because in-house, look at this bio here. Okay, this is the expertise information you're getting ready to hear right now on Arizona Business Spotlight. Joining me right now from Sedona Marketing and Ulof Creative, our owners, operators, CEOs, authors, you name it, they got it. Pen and paper, you're ready to go. Hank and Sharon Uloff, welcome. Well, hold <laughs> Thank on. you. Did you like that? Did that you? was awesome. <laughs> well, I looked it up. Why go through the whole bio? Just hold it up uh, and, and they well, can. That's it. Osmosis. Yeah. My point is <laughs> that between the three of us, we have about 150 years of marketing <laughs> media experience. And, you know, when I, we were designing this show, Arizona Business Spotlight, we wanted to hit all uh, areas and ranges yeah. of people that are just beginning in business or intermediate or advanced and also talk about social media traditional media how to brand in the marketplace how to tell your story entrepreneurship and how they get their message out and so I've been wanting you on the show because I'm just gonna sit back and wow, it's sit like my water wind it up and let us go and watch, <laughs> <laughs> and watch you guys do it so, um, you know, it begins with an idea. Oh, absolutely. Always. Right. Always. And I love uh, You Love Creative because it almost sounds like you love creative. And we do. Wow. That should, that should be our new tagline. Let's write that. We Let's love get creative. The, yeah, Instead we're of make... small business made bigger. Yeah, exactly. Small <laughs> business made bigger. You love creative. You love creative. We just did it right We here. just took care <laughs> of it. We're just, it's done and this, done. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And, you know. There you go. Heaven's open. Angels wept. It, it's just great. It's, it's, it's sometimes both. Yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, I feel like for people, moms and pops especially, or locally uh, owned and operated businesses, that mm -hmm. so many times they have this idea of a storefront, whether it's a uh, restaurant or a paint store or a church even or mm -hmm. whatever, and they don't know where to start. So here's, a, here's an opportunity for them to call you from the beginning because you really have to work backwards on this thing, don't you? See the end from the beginning, where you want, where you're going to fill a need in the marketplace and make sure that your brand matches what your product is. And sometimes, and this is the hard part, because we've had some companies come to us that are, are looking to start and they can't answer the question, where do you fit in the marketplace? And why don't you have any competitors? You know, if, it's if, a little if, scary. Yeah, if you have an idea and you, have, and you look on, on, do that whole Google thing and you can't find any competitors doing it, it's it's worth taking a pause. Right. It's good to be unique, but if there's not a need out there, that's a little concerning. So that's number yeah. one, I would say, is finding a need in the marketplace yeah. and filling it. Mm -hmm. And then making sure that you're passionate and knowledgeable about what you're doing. Oh, gosh, yeah. And so that's why I'm so thankful that Hank and Sharon, that you have taken the time to build this huge business that's not just here locally in Verde Valley or Sedona, but you're nationwide. Mm -hmm. But you're Truly. based here most of the time. Right. And right. with with Internet services, we can do things online, Skyping, having conversations. Absolutely. And if we had to do meetings and things like that. So you are here, though. And so we need to take advantage of that because you've been through the process and, you know, just in that media assessment conversation with your clients where they need to maybe go back and, you know, do some process improvement. Uh, it, it 
actually, we do have an assessment, and, and if anyone wants to go there, they can. Um, box full of marketing. If you can picture a box, picture it full of marketing. But if you get a box full of marketing, you get us for a half hour, and you get that a free assessment. But we'll do an assessment with businesses, and and just like you said, we we have to begin with the end in mind. What what's your final goal? Yeah. Sometimes it's what's your exit strategy. Okay. Yes, you know, when, especially for yeah. those new businesses that are trying to figure out what their entity is. It's well, what what's your exit strategy? Are you planning on uh, having your young ones take over? Are you planning on selling? What's What's your exit strategy? People don't think about that. No, they don't. These businesses <laughs> grow and they develop yeah. and maybe franchising. Th right. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Yeah. Uh, intellectual properties, you could create books and you mm -hmm. are both authors. And you know, I'm gonna give you both a superstar for your books. Anybody that has finished writing four or five <laughs> books. I've written one, you've written four, five. Oh. He, you're, he you can it. now say that you're award-winning uh, authors. Yes, yes, yes. We are. We are best-selling authors. <laughs> we, we have we have the the Amazon ribbons to prove it. So we can go to Amazon and get your books. Always, always awesome. So I suggest that everybody. I told you, pen and paper. You need to write this stuff down. <laughs> so Hank and Sharon Uloff, did you write books together or? Interesting, you say that. <laughs> um, and this is a husband-wife team. Yeah. Correct. This isn't brother-sister, so no. this is husband-wife. Okay. No. It didn't Just start the, that way. Uh, it, the writing books together didn't start that way. But it's starting to work that way. Yeah. We have, we have um, four of them between us, and the next two we're both contributing in. So if you, if you look at the cover of, of my, for my three and her, you know, the one that Sharon is in, um, it's just my face on the cover. So, but for the, we've, we've learned, and this, this is a marketing, this is a marketing mistake we made, and we learned from it. Um, we are, what sets us apart, our unique selling proposition is that we are a team. Yes. And when someone hires us, they're, they're getting two, sometimes different points of view to a point, but they're getting two sides or two different minds that are working on their marketing. And it was pointed out to us by one of our coaches, the comment was, well, gee, Hank, why is your face the only one on the book? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Sharon's so pretty. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> so for, for the, the next two that are, will come out later this year, um, we're both contributing chapters in each other's books, so we'll both be on the covers. <sighs> so, dialing in the brand. Yep, dial, it, absolutely. Dial in your brand, and, and you can always tweak things. Yeah. Well, that you love creative. You love creative. And, and Sharon, you really seem like you're the artistic, passionate, creative side of the show business. Is that correct? Huh. Or is it the opposite? <laughs> hmm. Hank's more creative than I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm more tactical, admin. This is how you do it. These are the steps. and. Show and business. <laughs> and together you've got well, show business. Well, Sharon came to our partnership from um, financial services and, enter business. and entertainment, <laughs> and but yeah. she was in the business affairs and HR wing. So when we sit down with clients, we start. We're not just looking at it, their business from the marketing side of it. You know, how how is this going to affect your employees? How is it going to affect other things in your business? And between the two of us, we have that really well covered. Right. So that's a great uh, consulting um, part of your company. Besides mm -hmm. just marketing and media assessment, you can really look at the whole Absolutely. business. And, and we love to do for that. anyone that's looking to start a business, yes. if you're looking at partnering up with someone, which you know, we work a with a lot of partner businesses, um, whether they're related or not, you have to look at all of that. You know, what, what different skills do you all bring to the to the dance? And you have to be real honest of you know, what don't you have? Uh, and that's important when you're starting a business. Truly. Now you have the small business marketing plan. Tell yeah. us about that. And then I also know that for anyone that purchases the small business marketing plan, you're gonna donate that same uh, information to a nonprofit of their choice. That's correct. Yeah. That is a great gift. So what, yes. what exactly is the small business marketing plan? We have found, oddly enough, um, there are some businesses that, that can't afford to work with us one on one. And when you are looking at all of your product line, your product line, um, this happens with a lot of businesses. You've got different points of sale. And for us, it was, well, how can we help businesses that can't yet work with us one on one? And we do, how many boot camps do we do a year? 
we're like four or five now. We, I've heard those are very, very popular, yeah, and we can um, go online, right? You can't go online for those. Oh, those we are can. those you, are all in. Those you are will now. Yeah, you will be able to now. <laughs> yeah. um, what we did is we videoed several of our boot camps, which are two and a half day. They're boot camps without push-ups and sit-ups. Oh, um, that's my kind of boot camp. Exactly. <laughs> you, you, you come Thank in, you, you, leave with a marketing, you leave with a marketing plan. Uh, so what we're doing is we videoed a couple of those, and you can now buy that. You get the workbook that goes with it that's... Uh, I don't know, 120 plus pages. Yep. It's, so, it's, in, it's intense. Yeah, so you're going through the boot camp with us on video. But... The difference between small business marketing plan and others, you know, because we have competitors and we looked. Well, most of them, they're just, that's it. Here you go. Good luck to you. Um, You're explaining it as you yeah. go and walking them through that. But we, we also are adding, they're going to have questions. And you can't raise your hand when you're watching video. So You can, but it doesn't do much It doesn't you help you. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. You're right. Um, so we have weekly office hours that are group calls that people will be able to call in, ask their questions, or just listen to what everyone else is saying. We also have a, a private social media page that they can go out and ask their questions. So it's do it yourself, but we're holding your hand. Oh, that is so <laughs> terrific. Yeah. They're holding yeah. your hand. Absolutely. And, That's what and, we need yeah. in media yes, marketing yes, yes. assessment. We, because we got your back. Exactly. Got, and so you're like, no, there, go. It's and coaching and mentoring and scaffolding and yes. terrific. And the, the nonprofit part comes in. And, well, Sharon has a master's in nonprofit management. I do, an MBA. And when I started my companies, you know, long before Sharon and I worked together, um, the rule was at least 10% of time, money, and effort goes to help nonprofits. You know, as entrepreneurs, we have to give back to our community. Yes. You know, it's, we have our communities there. They are, they're they're paying our paycheck, you know, our clients. We want to make our community better. So we've been involved, like how many, we've been on probably six or seven different boards of nonprofits between the two of us. So we thought, well, practice what we preach and we're telling our clients you have to be involved. So, well, if you, just like if you come work with us one-on-one, -on -one, we work with you, your nonprofit. When you buy the marketing plan, the small business marketing plan, you get, you know, we're going to give a copy to the nonprofit of your choice. You know, and the thing about getting this team of Hank and Sharon Uloff is that if you had an in-house media marketing consulting team, do you know how expensive that would be? And this is yeah. ongoing because they have the videos, they have the book, mm -hmm. they can do the phone consultations, right. yep. and you're right here. Yes. Yeah. Just and come down the hall and knock on the door. So you're the <laughs> award-winning authors, media experts and real quick before we go can you believe the time's already up oh, <laughs> it goes so fast it does go by fast um a tip for those with social media when they get that uh comment that they don't appreciate we know social media uh, uh, uh the protocol with that really is about asking questions and devel developing a conversation right. but how do you turn a negative into a positive i know it's on your website as well different comments. your turn <laughs> <laughs> you know it's best to address it you don't want to just ignore it. And there are people that are watching that conversation as well, not just the person that, that made the comment. There you go. So mm -hmm. you, you want to address it, but you want to address it in a way that you can be positive. So address it and say you're going to private message them. Tell them that you're private messaging them so you can actually have that conversation in private. But then the world gets to see that, that you didn't just ignore it, that you really did address Feedback it. Feedback is super important yeah, in the communication process. Yeah. Hank and Sharon, thank you so much for being on uh, Arizona Business Spotlight oh, today. Okay. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Sedona Marketing, they're there for you. Don't go anywhere. Dave Glick is going to fix our computers coming up next on Arizona Business Spotlight.